Hey guys, Smooth Pegasus here, and I'm once again working on Family Verse. Uh, proud of who I am. I'm actually recording this uh, right after I recorded the last one. I just took a small break to make some tea and fold my laundry because adulting. Uh, but anyway, I'm back, ready to write some more. I'm just feeling really good about it right now, so I just want to kind of keep the ball rolling. Um, hopefully I can be most of the way through this by tonight, if not actually finish it tonight. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah. And I know I mentioned it in the last one, but I'm actually going to let you guys know. Like As you can see, the setup is a little bit different. I'm sitting lower because I'm in my bucket chair. I'm not in an actual desk chair because this one's way more comfortable for my back. Um, also, I'm writing with a wireless keyboard hooked up to my laptop because this way I don't have to be sitting at my laptop so my laptop is nice and stable and over there away from where I will touch it and bump it and mess with it so hopefully these will be a lot more stable videos they won't be quite so shaky because uh, I know that's been an issue with some of the other videos anyway uh, that's kind of how that uh, the new setup is going to go uh, yeah but other than that, I'm ready to go. I'm really excited to get this written. I'm really excited for you guys to read it. Because it's just... Just, I mean, Lexa and Aiden and Clark and rainbows and... Uh, and so you guys know, part of what happens in this fic is an actual real-life Pride story from when I went to Pride this year. It's actually happened. Uh, so you guys can kind of try and guess what that is. Who knows? Will you guess? Will you not? I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go. So let's just get into this. Uh, I'm really excited. Uh, let's go, guys. Oh, I spelled that word right. Yeah. Second word of this writing session, and I'm excited because I spelled it correctly. Oh yeah, I'm a writer, I do those things. with the free mom hugs. True story. Every year at Oklahoma, the OKC Pride, they have a booth that they have women who have set up, I don't know if it's an organization or an association, but they're basically a group of moms who come out and give free mom hugs because sadly in the LGBT community, there are some kids who their mothers won't hug them because of their sexuality. So they get free mom hugs. True story. Holy fucking shit. I just spelled disenfranchised correctly. I think I just had a heart attack. I'm dead, guys. I'm writing for Beyond the Grave. And I just spoke definitely correctly. I know that sounds really stupid. But definitely, for some reason, it is a word. 
to, I, for some, I cannot spell it correctly. 99% of the time I spell it incorrectly, as I just spelled it correctly, as well as disenfranchised. I'm on a roll today. getting off on this tangent. I did not intend to write this part, but it just fit. Fuck, this is what happens with my fix. If I'm just like, oh, I have this plan, I'm gonna do this, and this, and this, and this, and be like, 5,000 words, be great, and then suddenly, I'm like, and I'm like, 10,000 words in, and like, shit has, that I didn't plan on happening has happened. But this will actually be really good later on, I think. I think it's gonna go well. Yeah. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good stuff. I just created a character out of thin air and was like, boom, adorable grandma character, go. I'm amazing. Not really. I'm not, I'm really not, but still, it's, it's fun. It's fun, it's fun. It's cool. I'm kinda hungry. I think I might have a meal break after this. Yeah. Okay. I also have to fold laundry again. Ugh, adulting. Turn my cat's book on. I really could not fucking die. What the fuck was I trying to spell there? I don't know. progressing as quickly as I thought I would, mainly because this whole section popped up and I was like, hey, I should write this section, and then I realized, hey, um, this section wasn't even supposed to be in the fic, but I wrote it anyway because it just inspired me, so I went with it. Uh, still have everything planned out, it's just going to be a little bit longer. Like I said, it's probably going to be closer to about 7,000 words now, where I thought it might be between 5 and 6, now it's going to be closer to 7. Because I just wrote about 1,000 words that I didn't really plan on writing initially. So there's that. Um, but yeah, uh, like I said, hopefully, since I'm feeling really good on this, hopefully I can finish it up either tonight or tomorrow and get it posted so you guys can see it and read it and let me know what you think because I really, really love it. Uh, it's, uh, I mean, I know for me, part of it was happening was months ago. I mean, and, but that, that feeling of pride, I feel like you can 
what really matters is when you can carry it through to your day-to-day -day life. And writing this just makes me realize how I'm kind of, you know, lucky, I guess, I am where I can be who I am and be proud of who I am and have friends and family who accept me. And that, that's kind of like, this just makes me feel it's very cathartic and, you know, I can't wait until the day that I'm in a situation where I, you know, have, have, have kids or something where I can bring them to pride and show them that you can be exactly who you want to be. You can be exactly who you're meant to be, exactly who you are. And it doesn't matter what anyone has to say about it. And there's going to be people who are going to support you and love you, and that's, that's really important to me. You know? Because I've always had that, and I feel like that's a, a big part of who I am, and so I want to, you know, share that. Anyway, uh, back on topic, I will see you guys next time. Bye.